guys, the Super Review Show here. This is another My Thoughts on episode. It's a My Thoughts on building out the Star Trek media, the brand more, into multimedia formatting, whether, whether it be video games, whether it be novel worlds, whether it be uh, a new TV series, which is, which is actually announced, but I can put that off the list, uh, comic books, whether well, I have comic books, but you see what I'm saying. I'm going to talk about that for the next like five minutes, okay? Here we go. So, uh, basically, ch ch on the checklist, TV show, comic books, novels, and, um, what was the last thing I said? TV, novels, no. novel worlds, comic books, and one more. And video games, yes, video games. So, look, Star, Tra Star Wars has been dominating the planet in the past two years because of the recent announcement of the new films. And then, like, the spin-off, the, like, the anthologies and the, and, the, and the main saga. What they haven't realized yet is that Paramount and Star Trek can compete with that. I mean, they may not be neck and neck like a lot of people think they're going to be, but I guarantee that this could very, very well be Paramount's way of saying, look, we can step up our game, we can stand up to Star Wars with the brand that made us famous, Star Trek. So... What other what, what I could, what I think they could do first things first they can make video games, they can make a Star Trek two as a nine video game they can make a video game about what happens between Star Trek two as nine and Star Trek Into Darkness, they can fill in those gaps the comic books have already done that but let's see if we can take the comic books, and adapt them into a video game form, I mean I would love to play a, a video game of Star Trek with story mode or just as the in the as the Enterprise flying around shooting on a Romulan ship. Who doesn't want to do that? Let's be. Who does not want to fly the Starship Enterprise through space on a video game and just beat the living hell out of a Romulan ship? Who do not? Who does not want to do that? Let's be real. I mean, but aside from the general population, what Star Trek fan does not want to do that? So, the video games are probably are definitely a must. Um, one thing I've already, I've brought up a few times on either Trekkies or on regular Star Trek videos is that. The comic books, the comic books, the comic books, the comic books. Star Trek comic books are killer. Like, they're epic beyond belief. I really, really enjoy them. And they have a rich history of comic books run in the 70s, 80s, 90s, and now. So, it's really cool how they have the Star Trek brand going. I've explained this a million times, but, but for those of you who did not hear me, I'm going to explain this right now. Okay? Star Trek, two, Star Trek 2009 is the relaunch of the franchise. It reinvents everything and it changes everything to a new new launch of the franchise. Okay? Star Trek Volume 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That block of that block of comic books, or that graphic novel time, is actually gaps between Into Darkness and 2009 filled. That gap part is filled. So the, this, the, here's, here's Star Trek 2009. Here's Into Darkness, and the gap in between is filled with these comic books that continue the stories of the USS Enterprise with the with the Chris Pine, Captain Kirk, and the Zachary Quinto Spock. They keep that storyline running, which I find very fascinating. I've read, I only have one graphic novel, I've only have volume one, but I'm dying to read the rest of them, because like, again, between Into Darkness and, in, and Beyond, like they had events where the, Ro the Romulans and the Klingons had a war, the Enterprise was in the middle of it, they had to try and stop it. Um, there was another story where Q showed up. I mentioned this when Idris Elba was cast as, uh, it was confirmed for Star Trek Beyond. I said, look, he's probably, probably going to be Q. I'm t taking a shot in the dark there, but I'm pretty sure that it's going to happen. Why? Is because the comic books have led up to, has put Q already in this world. He's brought Q, they've brought Q into this, into this timeline they have. And they're going to see if they can, it, it, it's after Into Darkness, so that could lead into the third film. Um, but basically what I'm thinking is, is that, uh, actually a li little bit of a story here. I was reading the, the description of Star Trek Volume 10, uh, Star Trek Ongoing Volume 10. And it, sa and it says, it collects issues, blah, like, whatever through whatever. But what it, sa it said was, the, the journey, the first sentence was, the journey to the next film begins here. Okay, I was like, okay, whatever. And then I looked more into it, I'm like, and then, and then I read the second sentence, it says, Q, uh, the infamous villain his Q, Q has showed up to fight this new version of the Enterprise and I'm like that's exactly what I said the fact that Q showed up in the comic books could could mean that he would show up in the movies now mind you Q in the, in the comic books was the regular Q from Star Trek the next, the next Generation but at the same time I think that this Q that we saw in the comic books the gender race doesn't matter to me 
you, you, you put black actor as Q, I'm totally good with it. So Idris Elba as Q could work in Star Trek Beyond. You see what I'm saying? The comic books, it all goes back to the movies. The comic books go to the movies, the TV shows go to the movies. They all, they all intertwine with each other. See what I'm saying? That was horrible. Let me do it again. See what I'm saying? They all blend into one. And to think that this is not something that Paramount would have thought of is completely beyond me. The one other thing that they've done in the past, I've actually found some audiobooks of it, but they haven't really gone on with it, is the fact that they have, they have not, Paramount and Star Trek, the Star Trek brand in general, has not put out a lot of books. I'm talking not comic books, but novel worlds, where Star Trek, you know, like Captain Kirk is doing his thing, but it's a long, slow burn story, where, excuse me, it could be like a year four story for the original series in a novel format. See what I'm saying? They have not expanded the novel worlds as much as they would like to. At least as much as I would like to. I would love to read a Star Trek Voyager book. You know what I mean? Or I'd love to read a Next Generation novel. But, and, like, uh, on audiobook form, I'm not really a book guy. But I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I think that having a novel worlds, having, like, like, one novel that focuses on the origin of the Klingons and the origin of the Romulans, that could be cool. The origin of, um... Uh, there's so many. There's a few other planets that I can't think of right now. But you see what I'm saying? There's other, th there's other things you can do in Star Trek than just a movie, four years, a movie, and, a, and comic books, and a TV series. You can branch out this media. You can make it frontline public. But Paramount, you got to step up your game, though, and say committed to it. So Paramount recently made some statements saying that Star Trek has to be a bigger, bulky, bulkier, epic, or better franchise than it already is. Like, and they said it didn't make enough money with Into Darkness, like, but even though it made like 500 million worldwide, I don't see why, I see how that's not enough. But I definitely think that if Star Trek, if Star Trek Beyond comes out, like the trailers promote it and stuff, and it's a kick ass movie, you're going to see the floodgates open for a Star Trek 4, 5, 6, maybe even a 7, who knows. But what I'm, the point I'm trying to get at is, so, so, so to wrap up this, my thoughts on is that Paramount, if you're ever going to watch this, watch this video and learn from it. Star Trek, be Star Trek as a franchise has to brand, a branch out into TV, which they've already done today. They made the announcement today. They have to create novel worlds about other storylines in the Star Trek universe. So, like the Klingon Romulan Empire, you could go in depth with that beyond belief with novel worlds, and, or even like other worlds. You know, like um, I can't think of any, but you see what I'm saying. And then you have. Comic books. The comic books have been a really good success so far. I'm not going to lie. I really love them quite a bit. I'm working on getting the next nine volumes like that. So, hard to believe, but whatever. And then last but not least, you need to branch out into video games too. No one will care about Star Trek. as cause The people that want to play a video game of Star Trek, like me, we're dying to see it. We're dying to fly the USS Enterprise into the, the unknown galaxy, plummeting on whatever we got to do. I want to play that video game, but there's no video games on it. There's only online computer games. In my opinion, that's kind of stupid. I want to get on my Xbox 360, which is right there, and play a Star Trek in Star Trek video game. Of like, you can customize your ship. You can make new phasers, new blasters, engine power on full. You can do whatever you want on a video game. I would love to do that, but Paramount, you gotta listen to me. You gotta step up your game with the branding of the movies, the, the TV shows, the comic books, the novels, and the video games. You gotta mass media Star Trek like belief if you wanna get it up to Star Wars level. So, well, I just spoke a lot, but anyways, look, Star Trek is a great franchise. It's no, it's to me they're they're equal. But actually, yeah, Star Wars is a little bit above that. So like Star Star Trek, Star Wars, but Star Trek's right here, but it's pretty near neck and neck. Okay, um, I think that. Having a mass media formatting of the Star Trek brand would be a great idea for Paramount. Paramount, get on it. Right now. Just go for it right now. But listen, to wrap this up, for all your my thoughts on, and any Star Trek rants or whatever you want to do, keep it locked on the Superview Show. I'll see you later. And by the way, live long and prosper.